Hi everyone, it's Rebecca here from Ghost Watchers Northwest. Um, so today I'm going to do a little session with the dolls, Biz and Joy. Never ever worked with the dolls before. Um, this is the first time I've ever done any work with these dolls. If you do want to check out some awesome investigations that Denise and Yvonne have done with the dolls, do look under the playlist for Ghost Watchers Northwest playlist, Haunted Dolls. Do check that out because they've got some really fantastic results. Yvonne and Denise have done amazing work with these dolls that I believe to be haunted. So let's see if I get something different. Who knows? We'll just um, go with it. We'll do a short five minute session and see how we get how we get on really. So let's do it. So hi Biz and Joy, I'm Rebecca from Ghost Watchers Northwest. I've come, I mean you no harm, I'm here to do a bit of work with you. So if you look guys, we've got a cat ball down here and um, we've got a temperature pod here. We've got the dolls Joy and Biz and then we've got another cat ball up here. So we've only got a very small setup today, guys. I'm going to put the spirit talker on now and we're going to see what we get. Right, so I've just popped the spirit talker on. Just check the volumes up so it can hear. And we'll begin our little short session. Um, so if there's any spirit in connection to these dolls, Biz and Joy, can you make yourself known? bring yourself forward and just give us some evidence that these dolls are haunted. Or can you come through on the spirit talker and let us know that you're here, give us something relevant. Now I will say guys, I am always skeptical when I'm using... It watches from the dark. Oh, it says it watches from the dark. But just so you can see guys it says it watches from the dark what watches from the dark can you be more specific who watches oh temperature pads going off guys so we've got red which i presume means hot just as we've had that through thank you for coming forward spirit what watches from the dark? Do you watch Yvonne from the dark here? Because we're in Yvonne's home. Come forward. As I was saying before, guys, I am a little bit sceptical when it comes to the... Um, apps I do keep an open mind with things like this but we use them um, but we're not saying it's solid evidence we're just saying like we'll see what we get if something relevant comes up you know then that's really interesting I think so it is important when you're doing these investigations to keep an open mind um but yeah so I did something bad I did something bad. So what did you do that was bad? Who are we talking to as well? What did you do that was bad? Can you tell us what it was that you did? So we've not had any cat ball activity. Just the um, temperature pod going off up to now, guys. Like I said, it's only a short session today. It's just basically me introducing myself to these dolls. Um, I have been away from Ghost Watchers for a little bit, but slowly getting back into things now. So is there anything else you'd like to tell me? I've only got a short time here. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Come forward and speak to the camera. Implies. Implies. 
looks a bit random in prize what what can you tell me can you tell me a little bit more it'd be really good if you could say my name through the spirit talker that would give me good evidence then if you could say my name or if you could say joy or biz or Yvonne or Denise, if one of our names could come through that spirit talker, I'd be amazed. So again, nothing in the cat balls at all. To be honest, it because it is a short video, you're not really getting that time for that energy to build up. But we'll see, we'll go with it. We'll see what we get. Is there anything old. else? Old. So we've got old. So who's old? Are you old? Nancy. Nancy. So we've got a name, Nancy. That's interesting. So is there a Nancy in spirit with us? Are you an old spirit? I know Yvonne has some activity in this house. Um, she'll often have um, a few things that have happened. You know, she gets a lot of EVPs when she's filming in her home. Um, so, yeah, and I believe the home was um, built on, before this house was built, I believe there was a church here. So it could even go back from there, guys. So Nancy, have you been around in this house? Have you been here? Have you been present? Edwin. Edwin? Edwin, so I've got another name there. Are these the spirits coming forward? I'm not sure if Yvonne's had them names before. But it's interesting. So we're starting to get a few things through on there. Nothing yet from the um, equipment yet. Just the one with the temperature pod. Not really. I mean, I'm not picking up an awful lot, to be honest, myself. I did a little few minutes ago. But nothing really strong at the minute, guys. I'm not getting anything. And that when we talk about hiding in the dark, hiding in the dark, so we're mentioning dark devil. and devil. Oh gosh, so we've got hiding in the dark and devil, right? Well, are you hiding in the dark at night? So, is that when you're more active? Help maybe us. help us, so guys. We're getting a lot coming through on the spirit talk at the minute. What would you like help with? Are you, um, oh, temperature pod, guys, seems to be red again, so we're getting some heat spikes. Thank you, Spirit, if that was you, thank you. So, I've lost my train of thought now, I don't know what I was trying to say earlier, but, um, you know, I'm wondering whether the activity is, you know, you're more active at night. That's when you're stronger. Is there anything else that you'd like to tell me before we end this session? Could you make the temperature pod go cold, maybe? You light it up blue before I end the session. I come with the utmost respect. I'm only here to communicate with you. And if you'd like help, what would you like help with? Maybe there's a darker... We're all around you. 
we're all around you okay so we have a so we have a so we have heard you when Yvonne's been doing some um exp like investigations you know which she's picked up some amazing EVPs underneath for these dolls which so we have heard you so we do know you're around us And temperature pod again, guys. I've got the red. It's interesting how we're just getting the red. And as I said, we've got the um, two cat walls above and below. Nothing's come forward there. We've also got a mirror as well. So... You know, sometimes they do say mirrors can be like a portal. Don't know how true that is, by the way, guys. Is there anything else that you would like to say before I end this session? I am a little out of practice, guys, by the way. It's been a while. Impaled. So. Impaled impaled that's interesting maybe this is a past event that occurred maybe on this land before this house was built do you have any connections to the church or any connections with the dolls i'm not sure if i'll be honest guys my personal um, thoughts is I'm not sure whether it is the dolls that are haunted or whether it's something to do with um, this house, if I'm honest with you. That's my opinion. I'm not actually sure whether... Oh, I'm just getting some spikes. Thank you, Spirit. I'm not sure whether, me personally, I'm not sure whether it is the dolls that are causing a lot of the activity or whether it is the um or whether it's you know whether it's the land that um this house was built on i'm not sure what what it is that could be causing the activity in this house um i'm not too sure i'm keeping an open mind um would is there anything any spirits connected to these dolls? Can you give us some evidence that you are con in connection with these dolls? Ashes. Ashes. Well, that's interesting. Ashes. So I've just asked, is there exposed. any... Exposed. And exposed, okay. So I've just asked, is there any connection with the dolls? Um, and we've had ashes and exposed. So maybe ashes were, you know, used in the dolls. You never know, do you? You you really don't know. It could be anything like that. Or it could be the ashes that have been scattered around this land in the past. It's interesting. Right, I am going to close this session now. Um, thank you very much for all your communication. Right, guys, so that was the little um, investigation that I've done today. It's only a very short session, as you know, and we're still getting temperature spikes now. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. Um, you know, it's been good to get back into doing something. Um, and it's been nice to do a bit of paranormal work and to meet the dolls. I've never done any work with them before, so it's all new to me. Um, very open-minded with it all. I'm not sure whether the activity that Yvonne's getting is in connection with the house or the dolls. Um, personally, I think it's a bit of both. Um, let us know your thoughts in the comments. Um, hope you've enjoyed this little video. Um, and whatever you're doing, have a great day. Take care and bye for now.